C. Lindelof videos, AP Calculus. Really, really important question because not being able to differentiate this question will cause you a ton of problems on the AP Cal exam. So I want to talk about the average rate of change versus the average value of a function. So average rate of change versus average value of a function. Average rate of change is just born of algebra. It talks about a derivative. And to do that, we know that we just take f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So just to be clear, this is our average rate of change. Right? So our average rate of change. So that's actually pretty simple, I think. So this is... Um, this question actually comes right off one of the AP Cal exams, and it asks the questions in succession. It says, given f of x is equal to 4x minus x squared on 0 to 2, what's the average rate of change? And then part B of it is, what's the average value? So they're not the, they're not the same thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2 minus 0. Well, f of 2 is 4. Uh, f of 0 is 0. Uh, 2 minus 0 is 2, so the average rate of change is 2. So the, And remember, this just comes from algebra 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 thing. The second question is a more difficult question, I think. Well, a more interesting question to me. So it asks the question, so for average value... For average value, we do something different. And what we do in that case is we take 1 over b minus a times the definite integral a to b of f of x dx. And just to have it said, what we're looking at is this. What we're saying here, this is an area question because what the question that's being asked of us is so we have to 2, right? Two. They're saying we have this area in here. They're saying what does the rectangle look like with a base of 2 that has the same, that has the same area? So I'm pretending for a second that this rectangle here has the same area as that one included here. So it's very easy. You just have to really think about what's being asked of you. Is it average value or average rate of change? So average value for us would look something like this, wouldn't it? B minus A would be 2 minus 0 would be 1 half. Definite integral and says we want from 0 to 2, so 0 to 2, right? Of f of x dx, so of 4x minus x squared dx. I'm going to go ahead and do my integration, so I'm going to pull this one half out. I'm going to integrate here. The integration of this will give me 2x squared minus 1 third x cubed as evaluated from 0 to 2. Some people close parentheses after that. I'm going to go ahead and leave them open like that. And then you would actually evaluate that, and if you evaluated this using the fundamental theorem of calculus, you would get one half times what is that? Sixteen thirds minus zero. So for a total of eight thirds. So we can see this is our average value. So we can see that average value and average rate of change are not the same question. You're gonna see them both. When you see them, take your time. Remember to ask yourself the question. What am I being asked? And then answer that question. You guys are going to do great. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.